Hello, welcome to Minute Trails. My name is Stuart, and today let's talk about Warhammer Fantasy Dwarves. In this video, I wanted to discuss an army I've been printing and having printed for me. So it's partly me showing off some cool models with a bit of a review for Highlands miniatures thrown in while I'm at it. So in a recent video about Warhammer Fantasy, nostalgia, and the run-up to the old world, I mentioned that my son and I were planning on playing Fantasy 6th Edition as a, a little bit of a way of getting us ready for the old world, but mostly because he was excited about playing Warhammer Fantasy for the first time, and I really didn't want to miss out on that chance to, to get him excited about the game. We've been watching Rogue Element Games' excellent 6th edition battle reports on YouTube. They certainly have a lot to play for this. Um, they are seriously great, so go and check them out if you're at all interested in seeing how the fantasy game is played. My son Jacob has opted for Orcs and Goblins, and I've been mostly scouring eBay for him, but I'll be printing some bits as well. Highland Miniatures do some really great options, but I wanted to keep the most of the army as official little Games Workshop stuff, so I'd love as a treat one day to take him up to Warhammer World and book a table and play a game there, which would be difficult if it was a, a purely printed army. So my two most collected and played armies of old were Dwarves and Empire. I've decided most likely to start Empire when the old world launches and probably stick with the Games Workshop range if I'm honest. I quite like the aesthetic and there's quite a few of them still available now so I may even start purchasing some bits a bit closer to time when we think the release may happen. For Dwarves, however, I am not a massive fan of the current Games Workshop range. It's fine, I don't hate it. But I much prefer the old metal ranges, and I really regret selling off my all-metal army. I don't really regret selling things very often, but that was something that uh, I thought I'd never be interested again when I sold it off during 8th edition. I definitely regret getting it now. All I've got left is this old over here, which is a bit of a classic. So I found this range from Highlands Miniatures. It feels very Warhammer to me. Very modern, but with an old-school feel that I love. So I decided quite early on after looking at these pictures that I just had to have these as my first army back in the game. I was worried about printing it all, if I was honest. I'm still relatively new to 3D printing, hadn't fully dialed in my printer and I was struggling a little bit with it. Now I've since changed that, but that's not a story for this video. But I was definitely having some issues with the one I had before. I was just worried it would take too long and I get too many failed prints and I'll be pulling my hair out. Then I found Hoplite miniatures on eBay, sent them a message and they were super nice. And they printed the core of the army for me, even though I've, I've now purchased the files to do more myself. Um, and the cost of it was still extremely low compared to purchasing plastic miniatures and, and the time and effort that it would have taken me to, to print the core of the models that I required. So definitely check them out if you haven't got a printer yourself or like me, you wanted to get the core of your army done and this video interests you. They have the license to the other Highlands miniatures ranges as well. So if dwarves aren't your flavor, then you can definitely um, find something that you might like, I'm sure. But I got a core of 40 warriors, 20 long beards, 20 thunderers, a cannon and a lord printed by them. And now I've been adding little bits of extra by myself. I've since joined Highland miniatures Patreon think I'm at the £8 a month value and that gives me loads of extra files each month. Now it's it's random depending on what they're working on at the time so it may not always be that the army that you're, you're looking to choose yourself but it also gives you 50% off at their My Mini Factory so you're able to buy their STLs for, for half the price there. Um, and I've added some miners, I've added a stone thrower, a bolt thrower and loads more characters including this awesome anvil model. I found they print really nicely and as a newbie printer I found that the supports are great um, while I was still trying to get my printer to, to a better standard these are consistently printed better than anything else that I've been printing while I'm trying to learn my trade so to speak so that's where we're at a pretty sizable army already I'm going to add some slayers and I'm printing this bad boy right now so their version of the gyrocopter I suppose I'm going for the balloon option just as something a little bit different at some point I may well add their versions of the hammerers and iron breakers and things as well, but uh, I think in the past I tended to run long beards and, and normal warriors more and I definitely like the way the miniatures look. Now the plan is to get playing with my lad pretty soon, 
you won't have the patience to wait until they're all baked, and nor did I at this age. And that's not really what's important when you're getting into starting a game. Just wanted to get some dice rolling and really get him enthused and, and enjoy playing myself. And so I obviously won't be featuring those kind of things on the channel, not only because my young son's involved, but also I won't be having unpainted miniatures in battle reports. But that's not to say that I might not come along in the future. I will start painting soon though, chipping away at the project over the year probably, and I'll do a few painting tutorials along the way and maybe show off some finished units as well. As I mentioned in my previous video all about the nostalgia that I was doing this project but I didn't really want to turn it into a massive project vlog, but I thought some of you might be interested in seeing the miniatures that I'd chosen to print and also give Highness Miniatures a bit of a shout out. They've not asked me to do this. This isn't a kind of sponsored review in any sense. I've purchased all the files and purchased the miniatures and things, but I just thought they were fantastic. And I know many people are looking to try out fantasy again or thinking about going to play the old world. And, um, and these are a really, really affordable way of doing it compared to Games Workshop prices. That's not knocking Games Workshop prices. They are what they are. But I know a lot of people will be put off by that. But these make an army very affordable. So even if you bought them all to be printed by Hoplite Miniatures, you could get your full army done still for under £200, which in, in, in this day and age isn't too bad at all. And if you can print them yourself and purchase the files, you can definitely do it for a lot cheaper. Or like me, a little bit of a combination of the two. Now, if you are interested in seeing a few update videos, as much as they won't be project vlogs, if you'd like to see updates when I've painted a few units and things and give a little bit of a rundown on how the games have been going when teaching my son, then let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to do the odd video like that. It's always fun talking about the projects that you enjoy doing. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you are new to the channel, there's a wide range of videos on there lots of historical things but more and more added fantasy gaming as well and the channel is designed to be a broad church where pretty much anything goes that I'm, I'm enjoying working on or painting there'll be plenty of painting tutorials i'm a commission painter as a day job so painting is part of my uh, daily life it seems so if you do have any suggestions in mind i, I am open to requests I don't always do them but if they fall within the plans I have I may well aim to do those ahead of something else if you've enjoyed the video please do give us a like it definitely helps us out and if you like what you see on the channel consider subscribing do go and check out Highlands miniatures they are fantastic from what I've seen I love the look of their sculpts and they're a good alternative to buying games watch shop miniatures if you so wish to thanks very much for watching take care and I'll catch you soon